It's no secret that the James Webb Telescope is an incredibly massive and powerful tool in space exploration. Its observatory was launched into space back in December of 2021, and its incredible technology has already revealed weird, mysterious details in space. However, recent images from the JWST have revealed something shocking on the WR140, a Wolf Rayet star. The James Webb Space Telescope has found ring-like structures around the W140 star which might help us understand the formation of the solar system. What is this ring-like structure? What do scientists have to say about it? Join us in this video as we discuss the JWST's insane discovery that confuses the entire space industry. It's now common knowledge that the James Webb Space Telescope was designed principally to conduct infrared astronomy. The JWST is the largest optical telescope in space, having a high infrared resolution sensitivity allowing it to view objects that appear too early, distant, or faint for the Hubble Space Telescope. This is required to enable a wide range of explorations across the fields of astronomy and cosmology. This also encompasses observation of the first stars and the array of the first galaxies and detailed atmospheric characterization of potentially habitable exoplanets. In one of the most impressive astronomical discoveries ever, the NASA James Webb Space Telescope has detected a series of bizarre rings around the star WR140. The discovery marks the first time that an infrared space telescope has been able to make out these kinds of details about a star, and it opens up a new way for astronomers to study exoplanets as well. The James Webb Space Telescope has been taking some time to scan the sky, and over the past week it's been spotting something very unusual. Astronomers believe it's a ring of debris around a lonely star. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope once again stunned astronomers with its new discovery, but this time it baffled them. This is due to the recent image of the far-off star WR140 captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. The image, taken in July using Webb's Mid-Infrared or MIRI sensor, shows perplexing waves circling the Wolf Rayet 140 star. Well, what are Wolf Rayet stars? Wolf Rayet stars are rare heterogeneous clusters of stars with unprecedented spectra, indicating prominent broad emission rings of ionized helium and highly ionized nitrogen or carbon. The spectra reveal very high surface enhancement of heavy elements, including deficiency of hydrogen and strong stellar winds. Wolf Rayet stars have surface temperatures ranging from 20,000 to about 210,000 degrees Kelvin, making it hotter than almost all other kinds of stars. Previously, they were referred to as W-type stars in reference to their spectral classification. Classic Wolf Rayet stars are evolved enormous stars that have entirely lost their outer hydrogen and are coalescing helium and other large elements in the core. A subset of the classic WR stars, known as WNH stars, revealed the presence of hydrogen lines in their spectra. They are young, incredibly massive stars still weaving hydrogen at the core, with its helium and nitrogen elements exposed at the surface by radiation-driven mass loss. There exists a separate group of stars with WR spectra called the central stars of planetary nebulae. These are post-asymptotic giant branch stars that were analogous to our Sun while on the main sequence, but have now ceased fusion and have shed their atmos to reveal a bare carbon-oxygen core. Every star in the wolf rayet array are highly radiant objects due to their high temperatures, a thousand times more than the bolometric luminosity of the Sun for the central stars of planetary nebulae. One of the most massive stars known, R136A1, in 30 Doradus, and the naked eye stars Gamma Velorum and Theta Musci are all Wolf Rayet stars. In 1867, with the use of the 40 centimeter Foucault telescope established at the Paris Observatory, 
Two astronomers, Charles Wolfe and Georges Rayet, discovered three stars in the constellation Cygnus, HD 191765, HD 192103, and HD 192641, now renamed as WR-134, WR-135, and WR-137, respectively. These stars displayed broad emission lines on an otherwise continuous spectrum. As a result of overlying elements absorbing light energy at specific frequencies, most stars only displayed absorption lines or bands in their spectra, so these were clearly unusual objects. Now, back to JWST's discovery on the WR140 star. Periodically, the James Webb Telescope keeps sending back remarkable and beautiful images of our enormous solar system. In the most recently released discovery, scientists were left enthused and at the same time confused. In July, the Webb Telescope, using a mid-infrared sensor, transmitted back an image of a star known as WR140, a Wolf-Rayette star, doing something bizarre. Encompassing the star were concentric rings taking an almost hexagonal shape with enigmatic waves ringing the star. The telescope observed six large spikes surrounding the star known as diffraction spikes. Recently, the image was posted on Twitter by Judy Schmidt, a citizen scientist. Judy Schmidt specializes in analyzing photos taken by observatories and has assisted in the creation of numerous web photographs. In her tweet, Schmidt said, Nope, I don't know what it is. Some kind of spiral nebula around WR140. I'm sure we'll find out more later. Already, speculations around the cause of these rings ramble from the more logical, a natural phenomenon, to those of an extraterrestrial nature. According to Schmidt, I think it's just nature doing something simple, but when we look at it from only one viewpoint, it seems impossible to understand that it is a natural phenomenon. Adequately, the recognizable spirals closing the star in the photograph are a start. Certainly, the particular diffraction spikes brought on by James Webb's studies will often exist. However, the image also indicated how light flies through gases and other detrius left behind when this incredible binary star pair swivels one another. The stars, one a big O-type star and the other a Wolf-Rayet star, are both uncommon. They scarcely ever live next to one another when found in the cosmos. As in this case, the two stars orbit one another in separate directions. This causes their strong winds to clash as they approach each other and reach their periastron, causing debris and dust illuminated by the light they generate. It's an ideal layout with magnificent elements enabling a fantastic photo op. The ultraviolet radiation emanating from the two stars heats the dust hazes arising from the collusion between each star's dust clouds. As portrayed in the image released by the James Webb Telescope, the dust and substance shimmer and glow. It's also important to note that in the released picture, it has about 160 years worth of dust shells. The reason is that the star's orbits only approach each other once in 7.94 Earth years. To this effect, new rings are formed with the advent of time pushing the older ones out. So what do scientists think about the rings discovered on WR140? In a Twitter thread by Mark Makaurian, an interdisciplinary scientist who serves as a science advisor to the European Space Agency and a member of the James Webb Space Telescope's Science Working Group, the discovery was referred to as bonkers. Mark added that the six-pointed blue structure is an artifact due to optical diffraction from the bright star WR140 in this JWST MIRI image. Makarian believes that the shell-like structure which appears to be a red, curvy yet boxy stuff surrounding WR140 is real. Mark mentioned that WR140 is a Wolf-Rayet star, which is a star that has ejected a large amount of its hydrogen into space. He said that the dust surrounding these objects and a companion star molding into the odd shells are also there. Space.com noted that a scholastic publication tackling this puzzling occurrence is being reviewed. This will offer astronomers additional information soon. 
The variable star WR140, 5,600 light years away from Earth in the Cygnus's constellation, regularly dims and brightens. It is yet to be discovered if the star's variability has an impact on the enigmatic ripples. The JWST has been pulling in insane discoveries since its launch. This is just the tip of the iceberg, though. Since the telescope was designed to be a general-purpose observatory, researchers will be able to utilize JWST for further academic study. For instance, the JWST will allow scientists to examine the atmospheres of exoplanets in greater detail than ever before. This can contribute useful information for future missions that aim to search for signs of life on other planets. The James Webb Space Telescope is going to allow astronomers to see thousands of never-before-seen stars and galaxies, as well as objects near the Milky Way. It will be interesting to see what Webb finds, especially in areas that we don't yet know a lot about. So, that will be the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe to this channel for more updates.